Hello, what up, guys? What's up, people? You welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Famous Nelson. And today, I want to teach you guys how to import sample packs into FL Studio Mobile and how you can also use them in FL Studio Mobile. Please, in case you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a new content. So, I took out my time to explain how to import and how to use external sample packs in FL Studio Mobile since most of you are new to the app and you don't know how to use them effectively. So um, let's just get started. If you want to import your sample packs in FL Studio Mobile, the first thing you have to do is to click on the Apple icon you see at the right side of your screen. When it opens, you just have to click on Import and it will take you to your phone's memory. When it takes you to your phone's memory, all you got to do is go to the folder where you have the samples you want to install. So um, I have them under my download folders. So I go straight to my download and I downloaded them from Telegram. So I'll go to my Telegram. I'll drop the link to my Telegram channel in the description of this video where you can download lots of amazing sample packs. These are the sample packs that I downloaded. So. Um, I want to import the last one into FL Studio Mobile, which is um, Cancer Beats 1K Drums Kit. Um, all you got to do is click on it. And now it says import 89 files. That means the total samples that are in these sample packs are not more than 89. So all you got to do now is click on EX. Now it says imported 89 files delete the archive file so this is where most of you guys normally make mistake whenever it brings this option like delete the archive files don't keep them because if you keep them they will take over your phone's memory like you start seeing them in boom play audio mac and different audio player so you just have to click on delete when you click on delete the files you imported into fl studio mobile will only appear here in fl studio mobile but if you say keep if you click on keep you will start seeing them on your boom play audio mac and any other audio player you're using just click on delete now we've successfully imported our external sample packs into FL Studio Mobile. The next thing is how to use these external sample packs. And um, every sample packs come with one shot and loops. When I say one shot, I mean drums and percussions. Then when I say loops, I mean melody loops and, and shaker loops and stuff like that. So um, the first thing I'll teach you is how to use the drum. So let's create a simple beat with the external sample packs. So the first thing you have to do is um, click on the plus icon. Then you see the drum at this front here. You click on drum. Don't choose anyone. Just click on cancel. Now if you click on empty. And you click on load samples. Then you click on my files. Then you scroll down to my samples. You see it down here. Then this is the sample pack we imported, Kenzie. So you open it, you click on it, and it adds lots of sounds. It adds it to it, bass, clap, kicks, melodies, and so many other sounds. So um, let's start with a clap. Let's get a simple Afrobeat drum pattern. Um, let's see. Okay, let's use the screenshot. I think this will be sound on ninth. So let's just get a simple Afrobeat drum pattern. And um, don't forget to set your tempo. Our tempo should be 110 BPM. And to add another sound, um, you still follow the same procedure we followed the first time. Let's just say you want to add a kick. Uh, you click on the plus icon and um, you go back. And um, you come to the kick for the see kick. So it depends on what you want to add, as long as it's one shot. So this is how you keep choosing different sounds and adding different sounds till you get your beat done. It's not a magic. So this is simply how you can use 
external to homes. Now let's talk about, let me show you how to use loops from sample pack. So you come, you click on audio clip and you go to my files and my samples. Then you go to the sample pack again, Kenzie Beats. And now let's um, look for shaker loops. Let's add some shaker loops. Let's see. These Afrobeat um, sample really sounds great. I really love this sample. You can click on the link in the description to download this sample pack. So this is how you had loop. This is how you use loops from your sample packs as well. So that would be all for today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video.